And welcome to the Kingston Memorial Center here in lovely Kingston, Ontario, Canada for the 24th annual Carr Harris Cup between the Queen's University Golden Gales and the RMC Paladins. Hi, everybody. My name is Tyler King, joined by intermission reporters Adrian Brett and Will Cunningham. Rob Carnell is back in our Kingston studios, and Mark Potter will soon join me after the start of the first period to provide the color commentary here as Queens smarting after a 4-3 shootout loss to the Ryerson Rams. Hope to get back into the playoff race once again and take a lead over the Ottawa GGs. Send it behind the Queen's net, taken by Scott Kenway along the near boards, and he'll lift the puck all the way down into the attack. His own office stick of Chubb in a low shot. Club save Adam Briggs. What a job, and he leaves it behind the net for his defender. Sent left side, Billy Burke at the left circle. Set it in front, and the shot went wide from Grant Horvath. Close to pass, left point for Scott Kenway. Slap shot deflected in front. Chubb with a shot, save, rebound. Doyle, it's saved again. Briggs sprawling, penalty coming up against RMC here as Doyle controls along the far half. Now loose puck at the red line. Here come the Paladins the other way. Luke Pierce into the attacking zone. Centered in front. Backhander wide left from Sean Cox. Knocked uh, down with Luke Pierce with a nice check by Brock Ouellette. And now here come the Gales the other way. T.J. Sutter feeds his man prompt. Tried to feed Ouellette and he lost the puck along the left board. And knocks his man down again. Two big checks from Ouellette. And giving him a shove for his shove for his trouble was I think Tyler Spice who Ouellette managed to knock down. And here Sink touched the puck. Are they calling too many men on Queens again? I believe that's what they're calling a second too many men penalty in this period, which is hard to believe. It looks like that's what the call is going to be. And that's obviously showing a lack of discipline on the Queen side. Yeah. I mean, you know, you take one a game, it's bad. Two in the same period, it's horrible. My gosh. Queens, Ben Monroe fed it ahead too far for David Chubb. Paladins trying to it back out. Monroe recovers in the high slot. Monroe wrist shot high and off the end glass as he had a clear shot in an A scoring area on Adam Briggs. But that puck goes out of play. 14-14 to go in the second period. Perhaps the best scoring chance of the game there, Mark. Well, it certainly was a great chance for Ben Monroe, the former Kingston Voyager, played Tier 2 hockey here in Kingston. He had a great opportunity. He looked like he had Briggs beat, but he fired it over top of the net. And I think, like you said, Tyler, probably the best scoring chance of the hockey game so far. On the power play, but Queens misses it. Well, Queens University has certainly had their chances on the power play tonight, but they've been pretty ineffective with a man advantage. They may have stolen the Kingston Frontenac's power play playbook, <laughs> maybe, Tyler. Maybe that's the problem, but... Uh, oh, boy. I tell you. Gales recover. Burke centered in front. Doyle with a shot. What a save by Briggs. Kenley recovers. Shot right on. Saved again by Briggs. What a job by Adam Briggs, Mark. A couple of big stops there for sure. The one-minute mark of this power play, and Briggs doing the job here. Try to stymie this Queen's power play. Burke centered in front. Monroe couldn't get the shot off. Recovered by the Gales. Shot right on. Briggs makes the save. Rebound comes to the far boards and squirts out to neutralize where Scott Kenway recovers for the Gales. Well, a great scoring chance for Ben Monroe, but it went right off his stick, and he messed up on that one on the power play. But for a defenseman, a lot of scoring opportunities for Monroe. Kirsten came out right in front of his own net, was stripped by the puck, and then took a high stick from Justin Lacey, or at least enough to knock his helmet off. It sent all the way down the ice by Queens for an icing call, but interesting... Uh, play there is Hearsink almost lost his helmet. Well, it's a dangerous play by him as he cut right through the slider. He almost tripped to the puck and he took a high stick in the face. Probably should have been a penalty call. We've had enough penalties called here tonight, but Certainly. that one got let go, so we continue here on 5-on-5 five five under 7 minutes to play in the second period. And it's still donuts here. Queens and RMC. RMC recovering. Sent it in front. Friday with a shot right on. Huge rebound side of the net. Another save from Morrison on the backhander from Bradley as he had to sprawl from right to left, but kept the puck out. I think with the shootout, what they'll do is put them on the cell Causeway and see which team can <laughs> hit the river. First team to hit the river wins, Tyler. You know, at FedFest today, Brett Gibson and Alan McCauley played <laughs> on the same team, and those guys actually were dynamite. Yeah. Actually, they played a lot better than, than, you know, a lot of the guys did down there today. So maybe in the third period, they can put those guys out there in the power play, Tyler. There's an idea. Absolutely. Well, of course, Brett Gibson, unfortunately, used up his eligibility with St. Mary's University. Yes, he won, did. Uh, won a uh, CIS championship there, in fact. So He played great today, though. I was very impressed with him at FedFest. Yeah, for an old man like he is. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pushing he's 30. Not, he's still in his 20s. He's still in his Pushing 20s. Pushing 30. Gales now the other way. Scott Kenway over the red line. Gains the zone along the left wing. Top of the left circle shot. Scores! Scott Kenway breaks the deadlock on one that without a doubt Adam Briggs will like back. As Scott Kenway came into the zone at the top of the left circle. Got the wrist shot past Briggs. It's one nothing Queens. Well, go figure. We just finished talking about how good Adam Briggs has been tonight. And like you just said, Tyler, I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. 
It was a wrist shot by Kenway, top of the faceoff circle, and in and out of his glove, and certainly one that Briggs should have had. But Queens has broken the deadlock here, and they've got a 1-0 lead. Bradley at the left point, cross ice, slap shot, broke his stick, and the end of the stick came up and hit the ceiling of the Memorial Center. <laughs> the other way comes Queens, shot right in on Briggs by Grant Horvath. That wound up 15 rows up. Holy mackerel. They hit the girders at the top of the M Center. Well, what's interesting to me is an old-timer, Tyler, you see more of those graphite sticks breaking the you shaft. Do. You see very few wood sticks ever do that back in the old days, but the graphite ones do, and that one, that one, I don't think I've seen one like that before. Like yeah. you said, <laughs> literally hit the rafters. The stick snapped in two, and it actually wound up about 15 rows up, and there's a few spectators sitting in that area that were kind of cowering and not wanting to be struck by it. Overs the high slot, 10 down low, shot off the post, rebound behind the Queens net, comes to the near board. Well, great chance for RMC. They rang one off the goalpost, but it remains yep. one nothing clean. And we could be headed for the lowest scoring Car Harris yep. Cup game ever tonight if this score stands up. Richard Lim recovers for the Paladins. Cross ice. Bradley with a shot. Might have ringed off the post. I think Morrison, it did hit the goalpost. And Morrison sprawling as Bell trying to send the pass, and they're going to call a penalty against Grant Horvath on that play as Paul Bradley came in along the right wing. And they ruled that, I guess, Horvath interfered with him after he had passed the puck as he checked him into the corner board. But less than two minutes to go, a minute 59, in fact. And RMC is going to wind up with a power play chance. Still cycling. We're within one minute in this third period. RMC on the power play, trailing by one. It does not get better than this, folks. Just under 38 seconds to go in the third period. Exactly 38 seconds to go in this RMC power play. The net is empty for RMC. The faceoff is in the queen zone. And the Gales lead by a score of one to nothing. 16 seconds to go in this third period. One last chance. The Paladins knife it into the attacking zone. Bradley recovers behind the net. Centered in front. Shot safe. Rebound. And it's cleared out by Scott Kenway. Now they score. What are they calling? RMC claims to have scored. It looked like the puck stayed on the goal line, and Kenway cleared it out. And that is indeed the call. No goal. Face off to come to Brady Morrison's right with 5.2 seconds to go in the 24th annual Car Harris Cup. In the near corner, one second to go, and set it in front. Shot saved, Morrison. Time expires. And the Queen's Golden Gales are Car Harris Cup champions for the second consecutive year. The heroes of the game for Queen's. Scott Kenway with the one goal, 41 seconds into the third period. And the other hero has got to be Brady Morrison, stopping every shot he faced for his first shutout of the year.